During the 1980s and 90s, Ron Wyatt was responsible for discovering a series of biblical sites. Many of these sites had been discussed by ancient writers and the significance of these locations were recognized across history. Wyatt's attention to these locations has helped generate more of a modern curiosity to biblical archaeology and helps point to the direction of material evidence of the biblical accounts of long ago. For more information, check out on YouTube Ron Wyatt Discoveries, 2022, Gomorrah Red Sea Crossing, Mount Sinai, Noah's Ark, Blood of Christ, by Truth is Christ, and www.ronwyatt.com. Quotes used in this video are from the magazine Treasured Truths, where you can order from ronwyatt.com. With that all being said, let's get started. Genesis 19 verses 27 to 29 And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood before the Lord. And he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah, and toward all the land of the plain, and beheld, and lo, the smoke of the country went up as the smoke of a furnace. And it came to pass, when God destroyed the cities of the plain, that God remembered Abraham, and sent Lot out of the midst of the overthrow, when he overthrew the cities in the which Lot dwelt. Deuteronomy 29 verse 23 and that the whole land thereof is brimstone, and salt, and burning, that is not sown, nor beareth, nor any grass groweth therein, like the overthrow of Sodom, and Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboam, which the Lord overthrew in his anger, and in his wrath. The most astounding evidence is the presence of round balls of almost pure sulfur, or brimstone, within the ashen remains. The balls are encapsulated in hardened capsules with reddish rings, and analysis shows these rings to contain burnt sulfur. Thousands of sulfur balls can be found at these sites. Balls of almost pure sulfur not in crystalline form, as would be expected if they formed naturally, but in the form of pressed powder. Chemical analysis of the brimstone shows it to be a mixture which would generate extremely high temperatures at a rapid but steady burn rate. X-ray fluorescence analysis on a sample revealed the composition to be 98.4% sulfur, combined with 0.22% magnesium. In 1975, when archaeologists excavating an ancient royal palace in Elba, Syria, uncovered 2,000 inscribed tablets. Of these, one translator stated that Tablet 1860 mentioned the same five cities in the identical order to that given in the biblical book of Genesis. Furthermore, the kings named as ruling the cities matched those stated in the Bible. The tablet states that the king of Gomorrah at the time was a man named Bersha the exact same name recorded in the Bible. Ashen City Walls, typical of ancient double-walled Canaanite cities. An arched doorway
and an Ashen Sphinx. After you have watched this presentation, consider how after Jesus' resurrection, in the Gospel of John, in chapter 20, verses 25 to 28, how he came to the disciples, and specifically to Thomas, where he had said, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. This was after Thomas had said, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger into the print of the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. After Thomas had seen Jesus resurrected, Thomas answered and said unto him, My Lord and my God, If you have doubts about God, and what the Bible says, the Lord has revealed these things to us the same way Jesus did to Thomas. These discoveries made are here for us to have assurance of the Word of God and is meant to give faith to even those who do not believe. Consider the following presentation and consider the Lord's will in your life. 